Hey guys, welcome back. It is another holiday week, so instead of giving you a book review, I'm just going to give you a couple of reading tips. I know that it's Christmas Eve, and you probably do not want to be wasting a lot of time watching a YouTube video. So I have five quick reading tips for reading nonfiction for you guys, and that is kind of what we're going to do this week. So my first tip is don't be intimidated. Um, I know that a lot of times nonfiction books can seem really dense and be really thick, and it's like, how am I ever going to sit down and read this? So I want to say, like, don't be intimidated. If it takes you like six months to read a book, it takes you six months to read a book. And that's totally fine. Just like give it a try. See what happens. Um, don't ever think that like this is too much for me or I'm never going to finish this or I'm not going to understand it. Don't be intimidated. Just try. My second tip is that you don't have to be an expert in order to read about something. So like if you are like, I don't know enough about this subject to get this book, that's not true. Um, the book is there to help you learn. So even if you go in knowing absolutely nothing or you've skimmed a Wikipedia page, like the book is going to help you learn. You know enough to try. And I think that that's super important. Like don't ever think that just because you don't know a lot about a topic, you can't read a book about that topic because the book is there to help you learn. I mean, this is of course like excluding like medical texts and stuff. Like clearly if you're like legal briefs, medical texts, you're going to need some kind of background. But if you're just reading a nonfiction book for entertainment purposes or because you do want to learn something, like you don't need a background in that subject. You can just learn from the book as you go. And if you need to stop and look things up, that's totally fine as well. All right. My third tip is pretty self-explanatory, but it's don't beat yourself up. Like it's okay if you're not into it. It's okay if it's taking you a long time. It's okay if you feel like you don't fully understand like as you're reading or after you're reading. Don't beat yourself up about it. Reading is supposed to be fun. And if all you're doing is stressing about what you're reading or how you're reading it or anything else, it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be a good experience for you. And I think that's the reason a lot of people say they don't like to read because they have bad experiences reading. But like, don't beat yourself up. Like, let yourself, like, just keep, like, trying to find things that interest you, which kind of leads me into my next tip, which is like find things that interest you. You don't have to read something because everyone else is reading it. You don't have to read something that you hate. You don't have to continue something that you hate. Like find something that you like. If what you like is like music biographies or like Hollywood biographies or something like that, that's perfectly fine. One of my favorite things to read is, mu is music biographies. I don't really review them on here, but I do love to read them. I have a whole collection. Like a lot of these down here are music biographies. It's one of my favorite things to read. I read those in my spare time. Um, I also will read like celebrity biographies. I really enjoy those. So if that's what you like, read it. If what you like is <laughs> really anything, if you like travel books, I love travel books. I collect travel books as well. Read those. That's nonfiction. If what you like is cooking, like read books about people that cook. Like there is something out there for everyone. So just keep trying to find what interests you and it might be something that surprises you. You might be like, I'm going to hate this and you end up loving it. So that leads me into my last tip. Just keep trying. Just keep trying to find something that interests you. If it's 100 pages, great. If it's 800 pages, also great. If it interests you, that is what's important. You should keep doing it if it interests you. Don't be like, well, everyone read this. I have to read it. Because when you do that, I've noticed this about myself. A lot of times I hate the book and then I'm unhappy. So don't do that. Find what interests you. Stick to your guns. Read what interests you. And that's the only thing that matters. All that matters is that you're enjoying yourself and that you're getting something out of the experience. So that is my biggest advice, honestly, is just like, just keep trying to find something that interests you. If every single book that I've talked about sounds horrible, that's fine because we might not have the same interests. And while I do talk about these specific books on this specific channel, I have another channel where I talk about other books that I read because I don't only read nonfiction or classics or whatever. So this is just a very small part of what I read. So think about it like that as well. Even if you're like, I don't want to read any nonfiction, that's fine. You don't have to. If what you want to read is like sci-fi or mysteries or romance or anything else, that's fine. These tips work for that too. So just remember that as long as 
you're getting something positive out of the experience, that is all that matters. And really, that's all the tips that I have for you, and that's all that I have for this video today, guys. I really hope that you have a great holiday with your family, or by yourself, or however you're celebrating, and I'll be back with something new next week. Bye!